Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the Tata Altros racer. Straight away I'm going to be opening the engine bay because what lies beneath has been changed. So this is the 1.2 liter three cylinder engine which is turbocharged, the i turbo but it has been given a boost in terms of power and torque. You can see looks a little aggressive huh? Anyways, there's insulation there. Oh my god. <laughs> is that for cold air intake probably? So what has changed? This car produces in the i turbo format 110 horsepower and 140 newton meters of torque. This one is now producing an additional 10 horsepower which means 120 horsepower and an additional 30 newton meters of torque. 170 newton meters of torque. That is a lot. All right. And then the bonnet is finished in black. It has these stripes as well. Looks quite nice. They've called it the racer not the JTP because obviously JTP is dead now. Anyways, looks quite good. They should have given it full LED lights, which would be really amazing. But you know what? Tata Motors is going absolute bonkers because they are launching so many new variants of their cars. Plus, this will be the only car in the segment which will still be available with a diesel engine. Yes, because the i20 diesel is going. The Baleno no longer has diesel. Coming to the side, it looks aggressive. Wheels look quite nice. And then obviously, black finishing on the roof and the pillars and let me see the wheels now these are 16 inches yokohama tires oh my god so yes they're going for full performance and grip do not 550 16 is the size of the tires says racer here yeah i just hope with racer you don't get chalans because it's gonna be faster right so performance will definitely improve at the rear uh, other than the number plate which says racer there's not much of a racer thing right there other than this Rear spoiler, which is a bit aggressive, I would say, because you see how it has been mounted. Vocal for local, the mandatory sticker for Tata Motors cars says Altros right there. And obviously, we get a camera as well, which is neatly done. Boot is a decent size, but spare wheel, is it an alloy or what? Let me check. No, it's not an alloy. In fact, it's a smaller sized wheel. So yes, cost cutting, you can say. Let's just shut this. Let me show you the car from the side profile. Okay, the door is not shut. Door handles are placed in a nice sporty way. In fact, you can see the graphics on the roof as well and that shark fin antenna also looks quite cool. Yes, it says racer on the other side. Looks very sporty. This car will probably compete with the i20 N-Line with similar power numbers, which I've already mentioned. 120 and 170 Newton meters, which is similar to the i20 N-Line. Again, space is good here and you got this insert here on the seats. Here as well, center passenger does not get a hit. That's why there's an armrest. But yeah, it's decently spacious. However, there are more changes to this car. Firstly, I think it works with voice commands. Yeah, this door doesn't shut in one go. So I'm just going to like shut it like that. It closes very softly. In fact, the Altros is a car which is now available in petrol, turbo petrol, automatic, CNG. This racer, racer is not yet launched. I don't know what is the price going to be, but I'm sure they are going to price it aggressively. But you can obviously save money when you buy a new car by choosing your car insurance yourself you don't have to mandatory buy it from the dealer you can buy it directly from the insurance company like aco thereby saving up to rupees 45000 yes because they take zero commissions and that's why you get low premiums in fact you can control everything on the app your policy you can edit it and all that and aco is tech first plus you can just download the app right now to get your car insurance hassle free and there is a toolkit i don't know why do i need to fix something probably yes it says altros here nice finishing on the seats yeah looks quite cool seat gets the ventilation function yeah both the front seats get ventilation the position is a bit awkward should have been there somewhere in the center console and red inserts here so it wants to really be the racer and nice finishing yeah like i'm quite impressed by tata motors by doing all these interesting additions now and it gets a sunroof as well oh my goodness they have the hyundai i20 right in the side with all these features and the, okay let's shut this first and foremost the biggest usp of this car 90 degree opening doors take that nobody because it's just the tata ultras which does this look at the way the doors open it's like crazy in fact the rear doors also open like this yeah <laughs> It's maddening because of the alpha architecture. No use of this as such, but if it opens, why not? Let me just shut this like that and uh, it just closes very softly. Let's get inside. First and foremost, here you've got this red finishing. This moves ahead and behind as well. Quite cool. Okay, let me turn off the air conditioning and gloss black finishing here. There's a sound coming from somewhere. Oh God, I have actually turned on the seat ventilation, which is a bit noisy, of course. Thing is, it says Altros here. What I'm really impressed is that they actually made changes to the screen. So instead of the 7 inch screen, this has got a 10.25 inch screen. It says air quality severe inside the car. How can it be that bad? Let's open the sunroof there. There it opens. So the sunroof is not really very big as such. Oh, it opens further. 
yeah but they have given a sunroof which is nice so now hatchbacks are coming with the sunroof but the hatchback does not get a auto dimming mirror you have to manually dim it which is a bit disappointing there is no mirror here but yeah new screen amazing new instrument cluster as well isn't that awesome yeah that's really nice i wish the tachometer was because it's like chintu mintu tachometer and then you can obviously see the distance to empty says 122 kilometers because it's got really low fuel and then you can browse through this so using buttons and switches and all which it takes a bit of a time to get used to so yeah i think it's on dummy mode or something no it's not you can see quite a bit of stuff it says aq423 so it's got an air purifier as well it's got i think voice commands it's got ambient lighting too here it's showing you the trip meters this is actually a slick screen i'm impressed by the screen slickness as such so yeah you got plenty of information widgets and stuff yeah there's the clock and all is there a specific racer menu probably okay you can drag and drop oh my god this is really slick let me just get it into reverse that is the reverse parking camera and it has got uh yeah guidelines are there they are not adaptive though so i'm just going to get out of that and yeah it's showing me that the door is open so quite a bit of information there which is impressive somehow these buttons are not working right now so they should be able to browse through this 7 inch screen right there anyways it gets a wireless charging pad right here and <laughs> that's quite a lot of changes hopefully all of them come to the regular ultros hatchback as well red inserts here and all the splash red almost everywhere possible okay no problem getting in and out because the doors open so wide they've also got the ultros icng right in front because of it there's a lot of security around the car just kidding so this is the one the icng six airbags and all huh and there you can see the cng tank is placed here india's first twin cylinder cng technology so there are two cylinders right there quite interesting so ultros lineup is going bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger well, that's what she said but that screen now the infotainment looks small this also looks dated when compared to the one on the racer but eventually they'll get everything on this car as well and then we have the punch cng2 here you can see that the tank is actually concealed below so you get decent amount of boot space so tata motors is betting on almost every possible technology diesel petrol and uh, cng of course and then obviously electric and 90 degree opening doors too that's quite wide there you see red inserts here and because this car is a punch it has been punched with a cloth right now to make it look cleaner i know it's a bad joke and on that disappointment it's time to end thank you so much for watching if you like this vlog make sure to give the thumbs up guys the like button bagwati still there so i'll just get her right now